everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company and I've got a great project for you today. Today we're talking about a quilt block called Twin Sisters and it looks like this. This is an old block. It was given its name by a ladies group in the early 1900s and it just makes an adorable quilt. We're calling our version Jack and Jill. So let's take a look at this quilt. Isn't this fun? I mean, this is just a really fun quilt. We've seen this set a lot of ways. We like them with the blocks right together. We've got 12 across by 14 down, a two and a half inch inner border. You'll need about three quarters of a yard for that and you'll need about a yard and quarter for the outside. To make the blocks, what you're gonna need is one packet of two and a half inch strips like this of color and one of solids. And we have used um, Rhoda Ruth by Elizabeth Hartman for Robert Kaufman. It's just a fun, happy line of fabrics and we really like that. So let me show you how to do this. So you're gonna take one of your solid strips and one of your print strips, just like this. Put them right sides together and we're gonna sew a quarter inch right down the side. So let's go to the sewing machine and do that. This is typically a pretty complicated block and I love when we can make it simple. Or make a version of it so it's, <laughs> so it's a little simpler than it was. That's, that's always my goal, to make, it, to make it easy for you guys so that you don't go, oh, you know, but what we do is we look at it and we go, I could really do that. And I, I just love that part of this. So again, what we're doing here is we're sewing right down the side, quarter of an inch. And you want to be, you know, you want to be fairly accurate because what we're making is blocks and we want them to match up. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to press this open and um, we're just going to lay it on here so that our, um, our darker fabric is on the top. We want that seam allowance on the darker side and I'm just going to press this back gently. Oh, this fabric has little foxes on them. It's so cute. And keep your seam onto the the uh, fabric, the printed side of the fabric. We're gonna bring that here over to our cutting mat. Now, once you get your two strips together, we're ready to cut into blocks. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm laying my strip so that it lines up on my mat so that I'm sure where it's going. Then I'm gonna clean up this end right here, make sure that this is nice and straight, just like this. And we are gonna cut these into four and a half inch segments. So we've got one, two, three, four and a half. And we've got one, two, three, four, and the half is at the beginning. And you're just gonna go along and cut up your whole thing like this. Now you can actually layer these and cut several at once. And I think I probably have enough that I can show you here. All right, so now I have a whole bunch of these cut into little four and a half inch segments. And this is what we need to do it. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back in and we are gonna cut all these diagonally. So just like this, I'm gonna start here right in the middle. I, you'll be able to see that better. And we're gonna cut this diagonally corner to corner. Now on these blocks, you wanna make sure that they are all cut the same direction. So only one diagonal corner to corner just like this. And we're gonna do that to all of them. We got a couple more here. And one last one. All right, now we get to put these blocks together. And so you can see we've got, a, they're all cut just like this which gives us a piece that has uh, a larger print side and a piece that has a larger white side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, uh, we're gonna take four of our larger print size like this and four of our larger white sides and we are gonna put these together in a block. So you're just gonna windmill them around like this and this is gonna make this block and then this one is going to make this block. Isn't that cool? So now you have your two different blocks from the same thing. And we're gonna sew these together 
just easy as that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two uh, triangles and sew the long side in the middle. And we'll sew this long side, we'll sew this long side, and then we'll sew the two of them down the center. So let's go over here and do the sides. There we go. And one more side. This is just so much fun. It's such a fun block to make. I have several girls that help me sew and I love it when they say, this is a really fun quilt. I would make this one. I mean, you know, that's a, that's a good seller. So what we're going to do now is we're going to iron these open and we're going to iron one one back, um, one seam going one direction, one seam going the other, so they can nest because we want them to lay nice and flat. And when I'm talking about nesting, what I'm talking about is when you put these two seams together, these pieces right here are going to lay right in next to each other. And you can feel with your fingers that there's no room in between the seam. So now what we're going to do is we're going to sew this whole middle block right down here. And again, we're just sewing a quarter of an inch right down the side. Oops, I can't get a hold of that. There we go. Most important is to make sure that middle lines up. Nests really nice. And there's our one block. Now we're going to do the same thing with her twin sister. And sew these two together and these two together. Alrighty, now I have these two blocks and you might have noticed that I didn't press this one uh, at all. This one I press the sides open and I can lay it back and easily press it open. But sometimes you get in a hurry and you just want to sew them. And so, uh, you know, you might need a little encouragement. I've got some encouragement right there to help this whole thing lay down. And you've got these two great looking blocks. This is the twin sister block. So now I have a bunch of these and um, what we're going to do is we're going to put them together with, uh, where, with the opposites, one after the other after the other. So we're going to do large print, solid, print, oh, different print, print, solid, like this. And we're going to put them together just like that. See how they're opposite? Right next to each other, we've got the print and the solid, and the print and the solid, and the print and the solid. And you're going to line them up in rows, and there's going to be 12 in each row. Now, one thing I want to point out, when you sew these together in rows, which I'm going to do right here, you match up your little corner things and sew down. But I don't want you to be shocked by this. This is like, <laughs> this is like big right here. <laughs> so let me get this out of here and iron this open, because this is important. I'll, I'll, I know I'll get lots of letters if I don't tell you this. So hang on. All right. So right here, when you put these together, these don't match up. They offset. And, uh, you know, I know lots of people are going to go, wait, it's not matching. I can't get my lines to match. These are the two corners you're worried about matching. So when you put them down, you make sure that these two seams line up and these two seams line up. But they are naturally going to offset. I want you to look. It's the same throughout the whole quilt. They naturally offset. It gives them that little bit of jaggedy look. So don't be concerned about that. Just go ahead and put them together. You're going to set them together just rows of 12, 14 rows down, attach row by row. Your first border is a two and a half inch background border. Your second border is a five and a half inch uh, outer border. And it's just going to make a beautiful quilt. The quilt is uh, 73 by 83 by the time it's done. So we hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the Twin Sisters block that we are calling Jack and Jill from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Mm -hmm.